Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy 2024. I'll give a few more minutes for more people to join in. Oh, I'm so sorry. I have been talking muted. Uh, so let's get started. I see Marion joined. Um, so we continue on the PR, uh, move the terminal decapsulation before layer two and layer three. Uh, Marion, would you like to share your screen and then uh, we could get started. Um, yes, yes, thanks. <laughs> One second.
Okay, yeah, we can see. Um, all right, so uh, this is the pull request that we reviewed uh, before the new year. Um, just to do a quick recap, uh, and then I will go to the open question. Um, this is the post change to the behavioral model. Um, I'll find the right page. So the proposal here is to move uh, the extend the capsulation stage, all these um, purple blocks uh, through the very beginning of the pipeline um, so that we will be able to handle uh, tunnel decapsulation, uh, tunnel decapsulated packet the same way as the uh, transit packet and apply the same ACL uh, as, as opposed to the old model, which, give me one second, I will add it. Just to, uh, just to compare. So, if I tried to write my own books, yeah, I would be biased. <laughs> so this is the old model. It's both I mean, I guess. Uh, I like it. Yeah, I'm done for. There you go. Okay, probably I just need to know it. Sure, my I am confident that today's school okay. day. So, is th the this was the old model? What? You look like it's amazing. Good. I'm coming. Then, if you can see, it was uh, after the router. So, we had to go to the router. And um, from there, we would. Uh, we would go to the tunnel decapsulate uh, tunnel decapsulation table or tunnel termination uh, uh, table as it is called inside API. Um, so since we are uh, we want to move it uh, to the front, there was one question on. Oh, let me find the right one. So since we want to move it to the front of the pipeline before bridge and router, the question was, what do we do with the attribute uh, tunnel termination of tunnel termination entry uh, VRID? There was a virtual router ID in the, um, in the tunnel termination entry. Uh, so now since we don't have virtual router ID, uh, the proposal is to deprecate this attribute and essentially remove it from the uh, remove it from the key. So this attribute is part of the key, which means that uh, in the old model, when you do look up on the tunnel termination table, um, you would also uh, do look up on the uh, virtual router that this packet is in. So you had to be in the same uh vr uh now we want to remove it and just leave the packet fields like uh sip dip uh, and uh that's it so that's the summary of the pull request do you have any questions? Hey, so be, uh, you meant um, when the um, packet comes in, like depending on which uh, interface or uh, VLAN um, it comes in, it already determines its virtual router ID. Is that what you mean? Sorry, Rita, can you repeat that? So, I, so I basically, the virtual router ID will be determined up front already uh, based on the outer IP. 
Oh, so this doesn't determine the virtual router ID. This is the key to match. Like a virtual router ID was already available as it is today based on the ingress router interface. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and uh, then like, uh, let me just show on the diagram. So what was happening before was that we go to the router, uh, we hit uh, this table, which is uh, ingress VRF, uh, where we determine the VRF from the ingress router interface. And then when you proceed to the tunnel termination table, uh, VRF ID was part of the key. So let's say if you ingressed uh, a router interface that is in default VRF, but your tunnel termination entry has some worth red, let's say, mm -hmm. uh, you would have a mess. There won't be any detail. Uh, you, you need to put the same VRF ID that the packet uh, uh, what a packet was classified to the corresponding router interface. Uh, otherwise, uh, it wouldn't decapsulate. What we are saying is now we are uh, agnostic to VRF, uh, and we only need to look at the packet fields like source destination. Uh, what else do we have there? Okay. So does anyone have any concern on this? Um, basically, remove this actual rule. So. Uh, Marian, can you show the uh, behavior model that you brought up? Or? The old one? The new one, the new one. The new one. Where the yeah, tunnel decap is at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, Marian, uh, before the tunnel decap look up, right, the first purple box, uh, okay. how do we know that given packet should uh, uh, go into L3 flow? In the sense, right? How do you do the DMAC check? DMAC is router MAC. Uh, well, yeah, it's uh, irrelevant of the tunnel decapsulation. If it's, uh, uh, you're right, if it's a, um, uh, so the, if it's a router MAC, then you will go to L3. If it's not, you will go to uh, L2. Basically, it, it's, uh, to be more specific, um, depends on the, uh, 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 on the type, right? Interface. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. No. So what you're talking about in that side, right? That is on the payload, right? If it's an L2 tunnel, what you're talking about is true. What I'm trying to see is right when the packet comes in. When I look, do I need to do any operation on the outer DMAC? So on this I'm talking on the left hand side. Yeah. No. So if the packet is supposed to be decapsulated, you you discard out it. Yeah, but uh, see, for example, if I receive it on an SVA or an IRB, if I receive it on an SVA, right? Don't I need to do the outer DMAC matches the uh, SVA's router MAC before I do this L2, L3 operation? Uh, so what I'm talking about is before the oh, tunnel. Yeah, the to be proud of you. Japanese. <laughs> yeah, Ravi, go ahead. So uh, what I was trying to mean, look at this, right? Before the tunnel decap table, so tunnel decap table is doing an L3 operation. It's looking at the outer uh, header, IP address, dip zip to do, uh, whether to decide whether to do a tunnel termination or not. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, but for this uh, L3 operation to happen, uh, the uh, outer DMAC header, the DMAC, the outer header, right? That should uh, match the uh, router MAC of the interface. Ah, I, I see, I see. So what, let me try to see if I understand what you're saying. Um, since, our tunnel decapsulation, our tunnel is the uh, underlay is IP. Uh, we need to make sure that the destination MAC of the underlay is the router MAC to go uh, to uh, to be able to go to the tunnel termination entry and um, uh, match on the IPs and uh, then do decapsulation. So prior to to doing tunnel termination lookup, 
we need to make sure that outer DMAC is router MAC. Like how yes. Dome will put the present turn, even though they all have uh, this stuff. Yeah. Sorry, the other person I think is what speaking. is the discussion? Yeah. I, I, I cannot understand what the other person is speaking. Can you please maybe fix your audio somehow? I believe someone is just unmuted. Oh, okay. Um, so probably, yeah, we, we we can be more specific than that. We can add a, a block saying that this should be, uh, the outer Mac should be um, uh, router Mac. Can you ping me? It doesn't really affect the API. Or is it dependent on your mom? Uh, if you are not speaking, please mute anyone. Karen's making sure that I um, track your homework and everything. And so I have to go yes. back through, but every time you have a zero, I have to. I guess we are uh, able to uh, mute uh, someone. Steven Steve, is uh, talking, so. Steve I couldn't mute. mute. Okay. Oh, okay. Zoom doesn't allow you to mute. Okay. No, it's muted. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't mute. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, Ravi, I, I agree with you. I can add this block, uh, but it shouldn't change the API, as far as I understand. Okay. Yeah. I think the API should not change it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It, it will be more, uh, more precise and more uh, descriptive. I agree with you. Uh, okay, and uh, Marian, last time somebody was asking about a VR ID, right? I'm not sure whether yeah. it was Ashutosh or something. Somebody was thinking there should be a use case where uh, I could terminate tunnel with each VR. Somebody was talking about it. Uh, it was, uh, I'm not sure we decided that uh, VR is going to be unused, right? Uh, was that concluded? Yeah, but I, that's that, that's my proposal because you okay. don't have VR ID. And you, you just don't have it because VRF classification happens later. If we really want to move uh, to move the tunnel decap before L2, L3, and you simply don't have VRID. Okay. So um, I, I would like to interrupt. My name is Manali. Our current use of tunnel term, uh, tunnel decap, we actually use VRF and we are not expecting it to be for L2, L3. So how does it, um, so this would probably break our usage, the change in the model. Right, so how was the, what is the proposal for people who are already using it differently? Oh, that, that's why I have this proposal to understand if someone is using it differently yeah. because what I encountered is that, um, this was the like the, the one that I uh, I have here displayed was the one that we effectively uh, saw being implemented, and we just uh, were we were just trying to align to that because it seems to be working fine. Um, so maybe you, you can uh, elaborate a little bit. So you, you are actually using VRID, and um, you expect only for the specific uh, VRF the package to be uh, decapsulated. Um, so we are using the tunnel. So I actually, I joined late, so I don't know what this, what, is, what you're proposing, but we are using the tunnel term decap. We are using the verf mm -hmm. ID. Um, uh, so, um, after the decap, the verf ID from the tunnel term decap table is an attribute we are using for the packet. Um, so. Yeah, but, but is it, um, is it. Uh, do you really, I'm trying to understand, do you really distinguish between VRFs for tunnel termination or do you just fill it with the default VRF and it's uh, no. effectively always decapsulates? No, no, we have different VRFs. It's not the default VRF. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I have a question, uh, Marion. Uh, if we keep these two, right? Uh, basically, keep the existing one, and uh, also the way it is, right? Um, 
I I understand you said currently the if there is a conflict the uh the attribute that um won't take effect the existing attribute for your implement your adapter but uh, um should you change I mean what what's the uh a any impact if you want to honor the virtual uh, virtual VR the existing attribute even yeah. if they, even if they conflict. Yeah, I, I get your point. Um, right, so th this proposal is not competitive. I will need to think if we can make it compatible or not, because uh, right, probably some uh, some people found it useful to to actually have your FID as a classifier for tunnel termination. Um, so th that's good to know, but I will need to think how to make it compatible and if it's even possible or not. Uh, hey, so, but, uh, I think, sorry, yeah. uh, so go ahead, sorry go ahead. Rita, Rita, okay. I think, uh, Marianne, what Manali was saying is they're using the VRID as an output of the tunnel term entry, but not as the key to the tunnel term entry. No, no, no that, that, that's not what I understood. Manali, can you please uh, clarify? Uh, okay, I need to go. I, I would need to get back on that. I'll have to check and get back. Uh, okay. On okay. Uh, so can, can you please I, leave a comment in the pull request? Yes, I will. I will. I, I just, uh, somebody at work pointed out that this is being discussed. So I logged in. So I literally had two minutes, but I'm going to follow up. And if there is a link to this proposal, I can go through that as well. Yeah. One, one second. I will, I will put a link over here. Um, so th this is the proposal and you see yeah. in the files changed, there is the attribute that we are talking about that uh, I was thinking to deprecate. So it would be great if you can look at it. Right, I will. Yeah. Okay. But um, uh, I just wanted to ask, right, today, uh, this attribute, existing attribute, um, is it being used, let's say, in some layer 3 VPN scenario? Like, basically, the tunnel is decapsulated um, on uh, default work on the, let's say, public domain. And then um, after term, uh, terminated, then this VR ID is it being used as for the inner IP potentially? Like, so, oh, that Rita, this... uh, so, so this one is only for uh, let's say prior to decapsulation. If you want to then uh, classify packet to a different VRF post decapsulation, there is a separate attribute for that that specifies mapping like VNI to, to VRF mapping. For layer oh, 3D extent. Okay. okay. So okay. Po post decap, it's a separate attribute. What we're talking about is in which VRF are you supposed to even decapsulate? Oh, okay. Okay. Then if this attribute is in the current tunnel table entry, it's a little bit weird. Uh, because, well, right now, it's, it's kind of uh, like what you described. Uh, we, uh, uh, what I've seen, like Sonic does. Puts a default URF, so as you said, it decapsulates everything in the public domain. And and then how how do we use this VRID further? That, that's a you can be more specific if you want to, like if you have some other domain that you want to have other decapsulation entries, but. I haven't seen Sonic using it, uh, so now I would like to understand from Manali uh, or anyone else if, okay. if they're using it differently and it really matters for them. Hey, uh, this is Krishna from Mentor. Um, I was supposed to have a question for the work. Uh, maybe we don't use this today, like we don't use, we use only one default work for both internet and outer. So maybe one question here, like, um, uh, do we, can we have like two IPs same IPs today, we cannot have that. We can't terminate two, two, two same IPs today in the tunnel top today, right? If you want to have this uh, remote, this work remote, is that something okay for us? Uh, uh, let's say, let's say we have like two two IPs uh, which have which terminates with the same IP address here, like for tunnel termination. Mm -hmm. uh, verb, is, verb is the key for us to determine whether they belong to two different domains or not, right? So, removing this verb is going to be the key for us to. Uh, Basically, we can't terminate two, two, two different same IPs on the tunnel term right now, right? We don't have a use case, but I'm just saying, like, uh, maybe we should capture that application as well. Well, yeah, that that will be the consequence. If you have the same uh, destination IP, for example, and it's uh, only this, uh, matched on destination IP, 
then um, you won't be able to distinguish uh, by URF. That's correct. Uh, so maybe we should capture that too. Maybe if you were going to use only one default verb here, maybe we should capture that too here, right? We, should, we can support only one one decap with the same IP here. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I saw earlier um, if the, uh, the VRA was determined from the incoming ingress riff. So depending on which uh, riff the outer IP belongs to, uh, it determines uh, the, the verb, right? And, and meaning then you could have same IP for different domains for the tunnels. Is that right? I think that, said, that's uh, what they... that's what we had before. I was saying that's what we had before. So th this is the old model. Oh, and oh, okay, okay. You do VRF classification, and now you know in which VRF you are. Uh, if we move it before L three, then you won't you won't know uh, the VRF yet. So, uh, just to to add, this is Manali again. Um, uh huh. We are using it to uh, use it as an action. So decap and that worf is, uh, you know, is what we are setting. Like that's what we are expecting the packet to have. So it's not on oh. match, it's not a key. Yeah. Yeah, I'm afraid that's not uh, the right interpretation because we have other attributes that act as an action to set URF, which is, I will show it in a minute. Like if you will go to the think I don't know. Tunnel and here you have the you have a set of maps. Hmm. Uh that you can classify classify based on BNI, you can classify uh, to a VRF. So this is uh, what the uh, current size supports. You uh, cannot I think really... we should look at tunnel term. I, uh, just to see yeah. it, I don't see it marked as key. Can you go to tunnel term? The tunnel term where uh, Manali is talking about, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not ID. Yeah, this one yeah, tunnel. Yeah. Yeah, but here that's doesn't, yeah. But here it doesn't call out which is the key ID, which is key, right? It's not called out. Uh, it's still open to interpretation whether VR ID is a key or it's going to be an attribute of the lookup. So maybe we did not specify yeah, but, clearly. Uh, aren't aren't you introducing ambiguity if you have a way to classify to VR ID with this attribute and with a map? And what does this attribute mean if it's a uh, if overlay is uh, layer two VXLAN? Like it doesn't uh, make sense. Yeah. Oh. Right. For people who are not using overlay, I mean, this was we it is we probably misunderstood. So there is nothing else in here um, which could be used, right? And nothing else in tunnel term table. Right. So. Well, the way that you, uh, maybe I should probably clarify this slide as well. The way that you know where you go is, uh, th this is essentially your, uh, your mapper. Mm -hmm. So you class you classify the VNI to either bridge or router mm -hmm. with a map, and then depending on that uh, interface type, if it's a bridge, you go to the bridge. If it's a router, you go to the router, and then you will have uh, the corresponding uh, VRF there. Okay. Um, okay, I have to get back on this. Um, yeah, of course, of course. So it, it's good to clarify that as well. Maybe we need to fix comments and uh, do more work on, on the tunnel termination. 
because it's a little bit ambiguous, is it not? Okay, I think, uh, uh, Marian, one more thing what we talked about last time, I think this is still open, but one more thing what we had discussed about is right? do we relook at what's being done in the EGIS? Do we take the EGIS, uh, in the case of a tunnel origination, right? When I mm -hmm. do a tunnel end cap, uh, so the will the EGIS ACL match the tunnel ACL uh, end cap or the tunnel payload? The same oh, I, the I thought we we concluded it last time. Depends on where you you bind it. There is again multiple places to bind, mm -hmm. and um, if, if you're talking about port egress, uh, then it's definitely like physical port egress is definitely post encapsulation. Um, but but there is uh, there is a point that you can bind uh, pre encapsulation. Mm -hmm. So uh, today, right? There are the stages. Different in size, just egress, right? The actual uh, stage is egress. But mm -hmm. I suggesting that uh, I come look at both the egress as well as a bind point type to decide. Bind object, which... yeah. Mm -hmm. So if it's uh, port binding and egress, it's essentially end of your pipeline. So this is uh, this will be matching on already encapsulated. Mm. Uh, but how do you say that I'm just trying to see how where is this documented right this is looking um, ambiguous to me from the documentation that what you're saying is right I should look at both the stage as well as the bind point object to see what should the behavior Yeah, you probably need to look at multiple diagrams at once because uh Kind of discrete, and you need to like you need to continue to the next diagram. Um, okay. But th this is, for example, the Unicast uh, uh, FDB entry that uh, that points to a tunnel. So you have your layer two FDB lookup. Uh, FDB lookup tells you that go to the tunnel bridge port. Uh, then you enter the tunnel encapsulation. After that, you go to the uh, uh, to the underlay routing. So you have the portion of underlay routing. And after that, you have, um, let me find it in a different diagram, sorry, uh, in a different diagram, which would be, um, I guess, Unicast router. Uh, yeah, so this portion of the router, it's always uh, same. After that, you have your ref type, uh, which is, let's say it's a port or bridge that leads to a port. And eventually after that, not sure if we have some uh, it documented somewhere, but that's where you will have your um, port egress ACL. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's at the end. You, you just need to stitch a few, a few diagrams together. I, I don't think we have one that would cover all of that because it should be quite large, uh, I'll try to look for maybe just a uh, router port. No, also not it. Uh, yeah, so probably the very first one is um those that if you go to, okay. to the bridge on the um okay. uh, and then you determine your uh fdp entry as the egress port then you have your aqua i don't think we have one large diagram because uh, okay yeah the yeah. point is that it's uh, like you you have uh branches because okay. you may choose one type or another Okay, so what you're saying is the last tackle table, what was the last tackle table is the EGIS port, the EGIS yes. tackle table bound to a port and that should see the packet that's going out on the wire. Yeah, uh, yeah. Let me see. Okay, okay. Right.
Okay, so yeah. Yeah, so at least uh, I thought that we concluded on that, unless okay. anyone else uh, points I think out. I that, missed uh, the point, yeah. I think I forgot that, yeah. Yeah, no problem. Uh, um, but in any case, just uh, leave comments if anything else is not 100% uh, clear. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I'll be waiting for uh, feedback on that uh, attribute because uh, as we discovered, it was uh, open to interpretation as well. Uh, so let, let's figure out what to do with it. Hey, uh, thanks. Hey, Marian, um, is it possible we start a short uh, document on this um, together with this uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I guess because it, uh, it turned out to be more complicated. I agree with you. Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right, um, anyone has anything? Uh, so I remember last time uh, Jay was not here, but um, last time he actually has a, a, a PR, which um, uh, I think it, there's a size change, right? So uh, I, I forgot, uh, did we reach a conclusion whether that's okay or not? Um, uh, I think what uh, is the PR number? Yeah, let me check. Uh, extension range for side hatch, is it? Um, oh, change the data structure size. Oh, yeah. Uh, I saw that I can approve it, but I I would ask Camille to look at it as well. Just from, uh, from Sai Infra point of view. Uh, is it the. Uh... Hmm? Oh, 1939, right? Yeah, correct. Yeah, uh, extension range. Um. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh, uh. Camille, is this something uh acceptable from the test point of view, metadata check point of view? Maybe let me share my screen. Um. Camille. Yeah. Camille's here, right? Um. Are you able to see? This is uh, his change, uh, basically for this one, um, at these two to for the range. But then, does it mean it will uh, increase the size? No, that... I don't think you increase the size. Right? This should not. This will be binary compatible if you are looking at it. Okay. it but yeah, let's come and answer. Yeah, yeah it just carves out a range. Oh, this is a enum, right? So yeah. it, then why he had a oh maybe maybe his question to come in a separate question. Okay, looks like this one is fine then. Uh, uh Marian, any idea why he chose the offset as hundred? What was uh, uh sorry the zero x hundred, right? No, so, no, I don't. Per thousand or some, yeah. I'm just trying to see this looks like the off. Oh, it, right now it's six, maybe it's already big enough. Yeah, maybe, yeah, uh, maybe that's rare than okay. So, we're this okay is, for, uh, for this change. I'll take a look and I also will take a look and I think. okay, all okay. right. It looks uh, straightforward actually. Yeah, 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 but I don't see uh, the uh. CI on this one uh, completed like if the Sci API compiles uh, for some reason it, it did not complete. Hmm? You see the it, it's, oh. it's pending. I don't know how to trigger it again. Oh, not this one. Uh, oh, you're right. How come it's uh, is it? 
No, it's only here. It's like uh, that, that um, pipeline is broken because it's uh, not running on uh, multiple uh, latest PR. Uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Uh, we couldn't hear you that well. Uh, Camille, can you repeat? It wasn't very clear. Oh, is that, uh, the, it seems like the pipeline is uh, broken uh, because uh, it's stuck on the multiple PR. Oh, you mean it will restart uh, later? No, no, I mean it's, it's stuck. Oh, we need to start it ourselves? No, I, I'm not sure what's going on because there is no like restart. Uh, probably something changed on the GitHub and probably the uh, config for the pipeline needs to be updated. How, how do we get this out of the states then? Uh, that's a good question. I, I, I'm not sure how to get like uh, any um, any debug information from that. What, what's going on here? Because there is no information uh, on that. So I'm not, so I'm not so, even sure why, why, why this is broken. So maybe Jai, maybe Jai could just um, do Make some commit, and, touch it. Yeah, and, and trigger the CIO. Yeah. Uh, okay. So now, the, the new, New commit will not trigger that because we already tried that on the on multiple PRs. You you can see uh, pull pull request tab and there are, there are like uh, five or four PRs which are also hanged in the same. Uh, oh, it happened uh, for multiple PRs. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, all of them. This all of one. Them. It it didn't even oh. start. It's not, it, it didn't start at all. Okay. Uh, hmm. Is it a gen general GitHub thing? Yeah, probably. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll follow up then. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I, 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 Jay has a question to you, Camille, on the size, but I don't, maybe it's a different different thing that he was thinking about then. Yeah. All right. Um okay, anyone has anything? Uh, okay. Rita, we have a proposal that we want to discuss. Uh, we need a slot. Uh, oh sure, sure. Uh, I think uh, next week it's so uh, fine. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Hey one thing though um Psi one dot thirteen is released uh, and being used for the um, Sonic 2023 release. Uh, but I uh, actually, there's a if we go to Psi 1.13 branch, um, I recently committed a, a fix. Um, so I probably need to <clears throat> uh, tag another release. So, yeah, basically this one here. Um, yeah, uh, it, it won't affect the size, um, but this is needed to eat these counters. So it, it will be needed. So <clears throat> I'm going to release a 1.13.3. I'll update this and then pack it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so yeah, meaning uh, uh, we also moved the 2023 11 to point Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, anyone has any other things to bring up? Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Um, I will uh, regroup next week. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Thanks. Bye.